Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and just be with Mahesh. Today we will continue with what we discussed yesterday. So yesterday in our uh, video we had discussed about the compliance related stuff. So the questions are how should you get prepared for those questions uh, and what are the services which are compliant with uh, uh, HIPAA compliant and PCI DSS compliant uh, services. That's what we saw yesterday. Today we will continue with the same stuff. So one of the requirements are under the exam guide. Google also emphasizes us uh, to have some uh, idea about penetration testing. So that's what they mention under this part. So penetration testing is an important thing. So you may get questions. That's what uh, this indication is. So but one thing when you need to make it very clear with respect to penetration testing is so there's a specific page which I googled out uh, and again which is part of cloud.google.com itself where it is primarily about security. I strongly encourage everyone to look into this, uh, at least this page. There are lots of contents in this. So one of the stuffs which they talk about penetration testing is, uh, which is made available here. If you plan to evaluate the security of your Google Cloud Platform infrastructure with penetration testing, you are not required to contact us to begin testing. What it means is, if there's a question where, where they say you need to run a penetration testing, one of the options which can be directly ruled out is no need to contact Google or Google Cloud Platform. You are free to do your penetration testing. That is what is the indication. So that option gets totally ruled off. So that's the first thing which I wanted to convey here. And whenever you want to do any penetration testing, that the best operating system which you can use is Kali. So that's one of the best tool which is used for primarily for ethical hacking and for penetration testing. And fortunately or unfortunately, uh, Kali data operating system is not one of the distributions available in your compute engine. You can go check it. You have Debian, you have Ubuntu, you have uh, Core OS, uh, Red Hat Linux, you have lots, but you don't have a Kali operating system. Now, if there are some questions how to set up a infrastructure for doing a penetration testing with GCP resource itself, the option is if you have something on premise, a Kali operating system, you can use the option of exporting a option. Maybe if it is in a virtual box or if it is a VMware, you have these options, follow the, these uh, guidelines and you should be able to export an image into uh, as a custom image into your Google infrastructure. Once you have a custom image, you can definitely use that as a boot disk and then you can do all your uh, penetration related testing. So that's the video which I wanted to share today primarily on penetration testing. So hope the video was helpful. Thank you for watching.